Welcome to the Live Your Spa Life show. I am so thrilled to be here today with Jennifer Deep Stratton. You guys are going to want to tune in to this conversation because you may say that you don't, you don't like to sell or you haven't sold or whatever, but here's the thing. We all have to sell something at some point, whether it's for a, a nonprofit or our business or sell our family on some things that we want to do. If you would love to sell your services for twice as much money, twice as often, then you really need to hear my girl, Jennifer. Jennifer, welcome. Thanks for having me, Diane. Absolutely. I love this conversation. You know, because we work together, you being part of Spa Life and me really stepping into the sales conversation because selling is serving. And so we really want to talk at a much deeper level about, you know, have you guys been thinking about wanting to raise your fees, finding the right words um, to close those big sales? Then you really need to tune in and listen to my girl, Jennifer Deep Stratton. <laughs> oh. So good. I just have to settle in here and have this conversation because, you know, you really understand what it takes to inspire people to take decisive action. And what are some of the things that you feel that deter people from actually doing that? Well, nobody likes rejection. <laughs> so, so that's it, right? Is we want to share what we have. We want people to buy our services. And the thing that I find is that we have fears. You know, it's normal. We all are worried about people saying no to us, even people that it seems like they don't. I promise you they do. But, uh, you know, I like to tell my clients, you've got to be more connected to the difference you make than the fear you feel. You make a difference. Your service matters. I don't care if there's 10,000 people that do the same thing you do in a similar way. Nobody does it exactly the way you do it. And that's why it matters that you learn how to sell. Oh, I love that so much because, you know, the fear of keeping us out of the selling game really is a disservice to the people we are here to, to help. Absolutely. A lot of people think that it's magic or that there's born salespeople. And I'll tell you, as somebody who is really shy, I used to, when I was in college, people would, people used to think I was snooty because you would pass me in the corridor and I wouldn't say hi. Well, it was because I was shy, not because I was snooty. I wasn't trying to be mean, right? <laughs> so that's who I was and still am shy on some many levels, but I went into sales because I knew that if I knew how to uh, express myself and express the value of something, to someone else in a way that they would see it, get it, and want to do it, mm. that, that that would serve me for the rest of my life. Absolutely. Well, you know, Jennifer, speaking of serving people on a, a much deeper level, we're going to have people who are going to be looking at this, you know, in Facebook Live, they're going to be on the podcast, who will be able to hear it. And I want to make sure because some people in their busyness of their life kind of come and go. And I want to make sure if for those who can't join us and will have to come back later, that they can know how to connect with you. So can you give real quick, like, how is it that people can connect with you? Yeah. The first thing you want to do is grab my book. I have a free copy for your listeners, Diane, and you can get it at high ticket selling book.com. Okay. Hi, H I G H ticket selling book. And in there is my nine secrets to increase your fees and magnetically attract doc top dollar clients. I go through the nine secrets that I've discovered over about 15 years, selling millions and millions of dollars of products and services, mostly in biotech, uh, science, medical, uh, health, uh, just a, a large range of different kinds of services. I have my four months to quadruple your income formula in there as well. I love that. Well, you guys make sure that you grab that because, you know, Jennifer has sold over $14 million in products and services. So this girl knows what she's talking about when it comes to making the sell and doing it in a way that serves people. So if you need to go, you know, make sure you grab that. And we're going to continue on with the conversation around spa life and really about how you can have that accomplishment and harmony in your life. So if you need to go grab my free gift as well at dianehoffman.com forward slash guide. So love to have you guys join us for further discussions on both of those topics. 
So with that, Jennifer, I'd love for us to jump into, you know, there's so many people that live a life of default where they just kind of have life happen to them. And then they wonder why they don't get some of the results that they want to have in your life. So we want to have the conversation around how you live your life by design and how you create it consciously that is in a way that allows you to live your spa life. Happy to share anything you want to know that is how we live. Everything has intention in our house, in our relationship, in my business. Nothing is by accident. Yes. <laughs> how do you do that? I mean, how's that happen? I mean, I know that, you know, how do you balance, you know, running your company and having small children? I mean, when you look at balance, I mean, a lot of people would think like, you know, these are all the excuses that come up for people of what stops them from doing the big work that they have in the world. It's, you know, children or as soon as this, or, you know, all these different things that come into the mix. How are you designing your life to not have those distractions really thwart you in what you're doing here in the world? Okay, I could talk on this for hours, Diane. So I'm glad you've asked me. Um, I will say a couple of things specifically. Um, well, first, I have three children. I have a, a son that's starting high school, a son that's starting elementary school, and a two and a half year old. Uh, I work out of my house. It's summer. Do you think it's a little chaotic here? Just right? a little bit. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, and my husband, who is our COO in our company, is also, you know, daddy daycare. So we have a lot of moving parts. They're actually in the other part of the house. I told them they can't come into the office because I'm on a live interview. So they know that we have a sign on the outside of my office door, which says recording in process, do not disturb. So all we have to do now is keep the two and a half year old from running down the hall and slamming into my office door. So if you hear a noise, <laughs> <laughs> That's what that is. Um, but in, in all seriousness, w the first thing for me is being, uh, is making sure all my relationships are working. And what I mean by that is communication, communication, communication. We over communicate here. What is the plan? When are you doing it? What is expected? What can you help me with? I mean, my husband called me earlier today. I was actually on another interview and he called me and he doesn't usually call me. And then he called me again and I thought it was an emergency. And so I got distracted from the interview and I actually looked at my phone and it was not an emergency. And so when he got home, I said, honey, um, cause he needed something. I said, honey, I need you to be conscious of where I am when you're calling me because I don't answer my phone unless you call me multiple times. He has my entire calendar in his phone. Right. So he actually knew that. Right. So that kind of, um, communication is actually what has the real business and the family work because he doesn't mean to disturb me. It's just not in the awareness. So rather than being upset, it's simple communication. So relationship, relationship, big, uh, we are empowering partnership for each other. So we might be doing something together. We might be doing something apart, but my husband and I, who's also my COO, we're always looking for how do we empower each other inside of our bigger goal and intention for our family and our business. Yeah, that is so important to be able to have those distinctions. And especially when you work at a home as an entrepreneur, to be able to, you know, what are the rules, you know, I mean, to know like, Hey, this is work time versus family time and really having those distinguishing things. And, you know, sometimes you could assume those things and we know how things can get off track when that happens. So to have that extra level of clarification and communication that I, I can imagine as, as we have in our house too, is really making the difference is having those additional questions and answers and things that are happening. So everybody knows that they're all on the same page. Yes. I prep the children. I'm going to be in the, on a call. Maybe I should be thinking about moving my office out of my house, which I just started thinking about this morning, <laughs> but it seriously has not been an issue until the kids got bigger. Um, but the other thing, the secondary thing, or the second thing, not secondary, the second thing, Diane, we are super organized. We are yeah. so Yay. organized. I'm not saying that there's nothing out of place in our house, but what I am saying is that we know what is happening when our calendar is like, uh, Oh, it's a hundred percent accurate. A hundred percent of the time. Can I just tell you everything we are doing all the time is on there. So good. It gives it. me so much freedom because when I wake up in the morning, I know exactly what I'm doing. 
I review what I'm doing the next day, the night before. And so I actually know what's happening so we can all be ready. So if we have to wake up half an hour early so that we don't have to rush, we know that if I have, you know, if I have to tell my 14 year old to make his lunch, you know, we know that. So being organized in that way and with the communication and the relationship makes it all super harmonious because don't you, I mean, the fighting usually comes in when, you know, expectations aren't met or you forget to pick somebody up. <laughs> Right. Especially when you have those many different moving parts, you know, I, you know, we, we talked about this at, at uh, our spa life retreat when you guys were there and we were looking at like, okay, what are everything, you know, so many people put, you know, the business things on the calendar and maybe they'll put a vacation here or there, but to put the details of how you're spending your day and choosing it in a way that gives you that structure that gives you, you know, cause when you do have more structure, it does give you the freedom to move amongst that, to be able to do the things that are important to you and your family. So I love that you um, have embraced this and that you utilize this and that organization is the foundation to, to make this all happen. Yeah, it, it seems, I think at first glance, like it might be extra work to detail everything. Right. But I'll tell you, we have sleeping in our calendar. We have we do too. lunch in our calendar. We have driving in our calendar. And so it might seem like that is to, you know, extra work not needed. I think at, at a superficial level. But in my experience, being able to plan my day in that way what I, the, the freedom that I have is that in the blank spaces, I actually know I'm not obligated to be anywhere so I can fully relax. I'm not thinking, oh, am I supposed to be somewhere right now or should I be doing something else? My mind is completely clear. Right, right. You know, it, it's uh, amazing. I, I'd love to kind of step into this as well because this leads me to what's happening in the world around busyness and people saying that they're busy as if it's this badge of honor. And, you know, I talk about this a lot about, I believe that, that busyness is, is the new addiction, you know, and that it's like, well, I'm so busy and all these things. And, and, you know, as if busyness is a thing outside of ourselves that we don't have any control with that. So I'd love for you to touch on um, the whole concept around multitasking and uh, how you've really kind of taken that head on as something you don't do. Oh yeah. No multitasking. Oh my gosh. Uh, Diane had asked me, you had asked me earlier, you know, how are you successful at what you do? And, and when I look, I, my feeling when I'm working is that I have all the time in the world. I'm completely relaxed and I'm, my focus is so intense. But when I look up, 10 minutes has gone by. It's almost like time stops because I'm so intently focused on what I'm doing. And, you know, I've read studies. I understand that every time you get distracted, it takes 40 minutes or something to get back on task. And so I eliminate distractions and it allows me to get so much more done because I'm, I have a hundred percent of my brain focused on the thing at hand. That is how we have moved so quickly. And we look around and we're like, it feels like we haven't done anything, but people say, how did you move so fast? It didn't even take that long. Well, because I have a hundred percent of focus on one thing, I'm not trying to multitask. Right. I, I love this so much. And, you know, in just a moment, we're going to tell you a little bit about why you need to have premium pricing as an entrepreneur and make that happen. Um, but for those of you that are on Facebook, I'd love for you guys to put in the comments, you know, are you someone who is able to focus or are you a squirrel? Right. And just put in some of the comments because I just love to see where you're at. And this could change day to day and whatever's happening. But it's always great to get a pulse of where people are at because awareness is where everything kind of starts. So if you'd put in the comment either focus or squirrel, that gives us kind of an idea of where you guys are at because Jennifer and I are going to come back through the comments, you know, things that can really support you in being focused and being able to do the things that you want to do. Um, and again, for those of you who may have to leave, Jennifer, tell them about your free gift. High ticket selling book.com. H I G H high ticket selling book. Get it. Perfect. Perfect. And again, same with spa life because we want you guys to have balance in all of this. Grab my free gift at dianehalfman.com forward slash guide so that you can step more into your spa life. So I know you guys have all been waiting for this here about the premium pricing. So why is selling premium pricing so important to an entrepreneur? 
I'm a high ticket girl. I don't know about you, but I like big numbers because they're more fun than little numbers. I don't know why they just are. Uh, and so over my years selling in a corporate environment and now as an entrepreneur, one of the things that I've learned and gotten so good at is selling, uh, creating the value for someone at a higher price point than your competition. Okay. When I worked in biotech, I always worked for a company that had the most expensive stuff. My competitors were 25% cheaper or more. And so as an entrepreneur, it's very alluring to start to try to price ourselves inside of the average, right? Oh, well, all my competitors are charging this much. So I guess that's what I should charge too. But don't do that. It, the reason this is so important is because number one, when you are charging premium pricing compared to your competition, you start to be seen as more valuable. It's just a perception thing. Now, of course you have to back it up with quality. Of course you have to deliver. I'm not saying you raise your price then you don't deliver. No, you raise your price. You know what that does for you? It makes you be better. Mm, it that. makes you be better. You start delivering higher quality service and higher end people perceive you as worthwhile, you know, your service is worthwhile. So you attract higher end people. And because your quality is so high, they refer their friends and you create this amazing upward spiral of more and more business with the right customers, as opposed to the wrong customers, which are the ones that you sold to because you were cheaper or they said, Oh, can you give me a discount? And then you did. Right. And, and then they the ended up, ones. <laughs> and then they wanted this thing and then they wanted that thing. And then they wanted you to do this for free and that for, you know what I'm talking about, right? Right. Don't go there. Just start with the premium pricing and your business will grow in just a tremendous, beautiful, lucrative and fun way. Right. You know, Jennifer, I would love, you know, along the lines of this, you know, premium pricing is to talk about part of how you build the value of that and how you're conveying that. And uh, I love the brilliance of what you share around quantum benefits. Can you elaborate and let people know what that's about and how they can utilize that? Sure, sure. So this is what I teach people. If you want to raise your fee for what it is that you do. Okay, so if you're an expert or a coach, consultant, a service provider, and you would like to get paid more for what you do, this part is for you. Okay. Now, if you don't have the liberty to raise your fees because you, your fees are dictated by something else, like your product-based business, or you work for somebody else, this part is for you. Okay. Uh, because what you're going to do is you're going to listen for the ways you can communicate the value of what it is that you have. So you can sell more of them. Okay. So you might not be able to raise your fee, but you're going to sell a lot more because of this principle. All right. So people will ask me, you know, how do I sell more of what I have without giving more time away or more freebies or more bonuses? Like, how do I make it more enticing? All right. Here it goes. You ready? Yes. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to tell you a story. This is an analogy. And in this, I'm going to explain to you how this process works. So right now, when you're thinking about pricing and you're thinking about uh, how to sell what you have, you're probably sitting there thinking, hmm, how should I you know, how do I describe this? How do I really show the value of it? Okay. So this analogy is going to give you a way to think about it without having to give more time freebie or things to create value. Make sense? Yeah. So I want you to imagine that I have a living room full of toys, which I may right now, <laughs> <laughs> I often do. Um, so I have this living room full of toys and I decide, oh, I'm going to have a garage sale. So I take my pile of toys and I scoot it out onto the garage, uh, onto the driveway for a garage sale. And I look at my pile of toys and I think, huh, this pile of toys is probably worth ah, $200. That's what I'm going to sell it for at the garage sale. Okay. That's your current price, right? Whatever your number is for your highest end service. In my story, it's $200. Okay. Now we're going to do something called the quantum benefits process. So I look at the toys and I see Legos. So I start to pull out all the Legos and I put them in a pile. And then I look back at my original pile and I see Hot Wheels cars and Hot Wheels tracks. So I pull out all the cars and all the tracks and the flags. Then I look back at my original pile and I see dinosaurs. So I have all boys, can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> so I pull out all the dinosaurs and the rocks and the trees, everything to make a dinosaur scene. So I keep going until finally I have five piles of toys. Now I look back at the Legos 
because I'm having a garage sale and I've got to price what I've got. And I think, you know, now that I think of it, just looking at these Legos, I think about, you know, where I got them, how much I invested in them, uh, you know, all the fun that we had every Wednesday night at family night. This pile of Legos is worth $200 all day long, all by itself. Then I see the Hot Wheels cars and I think, my gosh, this, this set of Hot Wheels cars and these tracks, 200 bucks. Dinosaurs, $200. Okay. So pretty soon I notice that I actually have five piles each worth $200. Wow. Okay. Now I have a thousand dollars with a value. Whereas, you know, 10 minutes ago, I only had $200 worth of value. Now, what did I not do? I didn't add anything. I didn't give anything away. I didn't build anything. I didn't even print out the instruction manuals. What I did is I see through this process the value of what's in my pile. Mm. Okay? So you, in your service, look, if you've been sitting around trying to figure out what your unique selling proposition is, this is a marketing word. I know if you've been to any kind of marketing class, you've heard about figure out your USP. Stop trying to figure out your USP. Okay? Because it's lumping all of your brilliance into one pile of toys, <laughs> which has no distinction, right? So you can't see the value. What you want to do is you want to start to pull apart the benefits, the, the things that are unique about you, the things that are special about what your clients are going to get the way I sorted those pile of toys. Right. I, I love this. And, you know, Jennifer, I can already hear the spinning of, of some of our people here, uh, you know, saying, yeah, but, right? And that's, that thought of, you know, what if I price myself out of the market, whether it's with the toys or with the service I do, how do you address that aspect about, you know, pricing yourself out of the market or that feeling that you would be? Well, you can't price yourself out of the market. Okay. Elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I met a woman recently who hired a money mindset coach. Now check this out. This, this actually blew my mind. She said, I just hired a money mindset coach. She charges a million dollars a year. She has 10 clients. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, sounds like you've got a pretty good money mindset already. <laughs> right? But does that not like just blow you like blow your mind that, that, that for every level that you're at, the people who are resonant with that level will find you. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like, so wherever your price is right now, do you remember when it was cheaper? And you had clients at that level, right? right? So same thing happens when you move up. It's the same thing as, uh, you know, when you get out of college and you're paying $500 for your apartment to rent, hmm. but that's okay because you make $600 a month. Okay. Well now, you know, but now you make $6,000 a month and your rent is three grand and it just, the numbers just keep getting bigger and you're like, where, right? Same thing, same right. thing in business people will find you at whatever level you're at. So I just wanted to tell you that and you might not believe me because you're like, oh, really? She's crazy. So <laughs> let me tell you what you do with the feeling <laughs> that, this, that, that you're going to price yourself out of, mark, out of the market. Hmm. Um, what you want to do is start to really focus on what are the unique and specific benefits. You actually want to write them down. I would recommend that you grab a piece of paper as soon as you're done watching this or listening to this and write, start to write down, just brain dump all of the benefits that people get from working with you. Mm. Okay. Just brain dump all of them and then start to group them into like or similar benefits the way I did my piles of toys. Okay. And what you're going to start to see, and this is why they're called quantum benefits. When you see that benefit as worth the entire price of your program or service or product all by itself, that one benefit, then it's quantum. And the reason it's quantum is because you actually have four or five benefits, but one of them is worth the entire price. Hmm. Okay. But you've got four or five. So what happens is even if you have a very quote unquote expensive thing, it feels to you and to your buyer like they're getting a good deal because they're like, oh my gosh, I would pay that much just for one of your benefits, but I get five. Let me get my checkbook out. Yeah. I, I love that so much. And I love how you've applied this into your own life and your own business. I mean, you were actually able to triple your business um, through your one call blueprint consultation system. So how did you incorporate this 
to triple your business. Yeah. So it's the same. This is exactly what I teach my clients. It's what I've been doing for 20 years. I do it on myself, you know, <laughs> on my own products and services is every time I think, wow, there, there's a need in the marketplace for this. Or somebody says, you know, I want this thing from you. I think, wow. Okay. It's just, and think about it. You dream up a new product or a new service and you have an idea of what you want to deliver. What you want to do then is actually start to really write down well, what, what is it that they would be getting? And you have to keep asking yourself and working the problem until you see and believe the value. And this is actually what we do in all of my courses because sometimes it's the foundation of everything that I do with my clients because it's hard for you to believe in the higher price point if you don't see it yourself. I mean, you can't, right? So this process, you finally go, oh my gosh, it really is worth that much. Holy cow, I didn't realize it. And then it's quite easy to sell. Right. You know, I love this is something that you do in the workshops because it's one thing to actually hear you say the words about it, but like you said, the mindset aspect of it and depending on where you're at and what level, you know, you, um, you may have to make some shifts on whatever ceiling you may be hitting that allows you to fully step into that. Absolutely. And I have a spa life tip for that. Ah, can I tell you it? Please share. <laughs> Well, one of the things that, and I've got this from you, Diane, that really has made a difference in me being able to grow my own uh, price point to actually raise the prices in our business is the process is when I started really taking good care of myself. I know you talk about self-care all the time um, and I've always given it some great lip service, but when I actually started doing it, uh, I, it, it became much easier because I think on some level, when I'm taking an Epsom salt bath and then sleeping late, I'm, I'm telling myself I have value and that permeates everything that I'm doing and saying about our business and our services. I, this is so important. I really want you guys to hear this because when I talk about, you know, living your spa life, it is that lifestyle and it's really about doing that extreme self-care. And I know it sounds so counterproductive or counterintuitive about if I took more care of myself, I wouldn't have as much time in my business or I wouldn't be able to do all the things. However, there actually becomes a point when you're working beyond that productive zone that you're actually not serving anyone else and you're actually doing a detriment. So when you really embrace the self-care piece of this and the fun part and all the different aspects, when we talk about all the different elements that make up your spa life, it's not just the business, right? It's all those other nine elements that we talk about that really support you in living the life you want to. And I absolutely love, and I've adopted it for myself, your new mantra around fun and money. So please share that. The more fun I have, the more money I make. <laughs> I love this. I mean, for our podcasters who are probably driving and didn't catch that, you have to say that again because they can't miss this one. Okay, here it is, you guys. This is the new mantra for the money. And you're welcome to keep this and steal it, borrow it, whatever. The more fun I have, the more money I make. <laughs> oh. I mean, who doesn't want to step into that, right? You know, it's just, especially when you connect selling, because sometimes people have a heaviness about selling because no one wants to be sold to. And sometimes people have negative associations around that. But I love the fact how you have really broadened our scope of selling in terms of not only the quantum benefits, what are we bringing to the table? How are we serving people? And then to tie it to what we're standing for and what we're doing in terms of our own mission and tying those things together. And I, I just, I love, I love how you've done that, how you put those together. And, and that is really how you support people who are here doing some, some much bigger things. So I, I thank you for sharing that. You are welcome. Uh, so again, I know that our listeners are going to want to connect with you and want to hear more about, you know, how you're doing this because I, you know, sometimes it takes a while for people to build the habit, the belief in themselves to really step into that. They, they can see how it's great for you and maybe for me, but they maybe haven't quite embraced how they can do it for themselves to really see these type of quantum leap changes that you've made for yourself and your clients. So how, again, that people can connect with you to step into this new paradigm of selling. 
Yeah, if you want to really get in what's in my head, I put it in a book. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's called The Nine Secrets to Increase Your Fees and Magnetically Attract Top Dollar Clients. You can get it at highticketsellingbook.com. And I'll tell you, Diane, it's for me, highticketsellingbook.com in there is, is how I have a sales conversation. It's my whole formula. It's four, uh, it's the four steps to quadruple your income in four months and lots of things like how to turn people who say no into raving fans. It's all in the book. Oh, I love that. Quadruple. Is that what I heard? Quadruple. <laughs> four, four times the money in four months. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm pretty sure that everyone's going to want to hear that. And just for the, the tidbit about how to do that and to step into that, because, you know, sometimes people do things in incremental ways, but I love the way that you approach things in, in a quantum way that is so amazing, which actually reminds me of wanting to ask you to finish this sentence here that says, I unapologetically choose to. I unapologetically choose to roar. roar. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that's, that's so you girlfriend. <laughs> I love that. So another question I always love to connect with, um, with my, my clients and friends and, and people who show here, on, uh, who are here on the show is when we talk about spa life, we talk about our environment and how we want to feel in our space and that we want to have a different experience in our bedroom versus the kitchen versus our office. And so I would love for you to share what is your favorite room and why? My favorite room is my bedroom. My favorite room is my bedroom because it, uh, we have everything in twos in our bedroom. So like we have a photograph over our bed of a man and a woman dancing. We have two candles. We have two lamps. We have two pillows, like a little feng shui going on there. Yep. Um, and it, it makes, um, when I'm in it, I feel relaxed and safe and connected. Ah, I love that. So for our listeners that may not uh, understand the connection of two, can you elaborate a little bit about why two is chosen? Yeah. So I'm married and I have this amazing husband and I don't remember where I read this, but once uh, uh, um, somebody, I read something that was talking about the feng shui of a bedroom that if you want to have, you know, if you want to be in relationship, you know, you want to have pairs of things because it's, it's symbolically reflecting back to you, your pair of your, you know, the two of you in your relationship. Right. Absolutely. And just to elaborate on that, that your environment, you know, trumps anything else. You could have all the willpower of, I want to be in a relationship or there's certain things that I want to have in my life, but your environment is the vibration that actually pulls you into the direction that you want to have. So by having twos, it supports the energy of being in partnership. So you really want to look at what are some of the other things that you have in all the other different aspects of your life and your environments that really support you to have what you want to have. So is your office a place where you are inspired that you could actually quadruple uh, you know, your cells and the things that you want to do in your business? So you really want to look at how you can be supported uh, around that and have that happen. So we're going to give you some of those links here in just a second. Um, but any final thoughts, Jennifer, you'd like to share with uh, our audience? Just do it by design. It's truly by design. And if you want to have this success, I think your, your spot on Diane is, is all of the pieces have to work together. So if you're not taking care of yourself, you can't be focused. And if you're not focused, you can't make money. And if you don't have the money, then you're not going to be able to have maybe the vacation and the family time that you want. So you can't, and you can't leave one out. You really can't. Right, right. They, they all work together. So I, I so appreciate that. And I thank you so much for your time. And once again, for those people who you guys, first of all, if you're here on Facebook and if you're watching this on the replay, you know, share this. I mean, there's so many people that have so many gifts to give and they get stopped by not being able to sell things in a, in a bigger way. And they're going to need to hear this message. So please share this. Please put your likes, put your comments. Jennifer and I will come back around and answer any questions that you have and see how we can support you on a much deeper level. So please do that. And um, for those of you who are listening on the podcast, please listen closely because I'm going to repeat again about how you can stay in contact with us. So Jennifer, once again, what is your free gift for people to connect with you? 
grab my book at highticketsellingbook.com. And that's H-I-G-H, ticket, selling, book, dot com. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here and sharing all your wisdom. And I'm so excited for your success and all the wonderful things that you're doing in the world. And for our listeners who are really listening and saying, you know what? I want to have more balance in my life. I want to have my spa life where I can have that lifestyle of accomplishment and harmony coexisting. Then I invite you to get my free gift at dianehalfman.com forward slash guide which will guide you into living your spa life and being able to utilize your environments so that you can really step up to have this reflection that we've been talking about here today. So we would love for you guys to, you know, put in your comments and connect with us and we would love to support you. So until we talk again, live your spa life. Bye for now.